Two years ago, Lucas Bravo landed the breakout role of his career as a charming chef and love interest of Lily Collins in the hit Netflix series, Emily in oh, Paris. I loved it so much. And now Lucas is back in the City of Lights, this time on the big screen, starring in Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, about a British housekeeper who becomes obsessed with a couture dress. Oh, my gosh. I can relate. Hi, Lucas. Hi. How <laughs> are you? Me. Donna just said this is your first television appearance in the U.S.? Yes, I'm, I'm trying to be as uh, mysterious as possible. <laughs> I know you've got to keep up that, the that French in you. enigma. Uh, yeah. Okay, first of all, we have to start with Emily in Paris because we were both such fans. And I think about your role um, and how it maybe changed your life. Did it change everything? Uh, life is pretty much the same. You know, I live a very secluded life. Uh, but in terms of opportunities, of course, yeah, it brought me, it brought me to brought me really good projects and the opportunity to work with people I've admired for a long time. So. I, I have to know because we ended on a cliffhanger. Are you <laughs> Team Camille or Team Emily? <laughs> you as a person, not your character. <laughs> as a person, honestly, I feel like I'm I'm Team. Everybody should take some time apart and figure their stuff <laughs> before they, they like. They really need to, to yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. They need yeah. to figure it out. But we do love a love triangle. Yeah. Yes, we, we do. do. <laughs> um, okay, in this new movie, which is so charming, you play a shy accountant. And I, I read that that was similar to sort of how you are, how you were as a teenager. Is that true? Um, yes. Um, yeah, let, let's go into therapy. Um, <laughs> but we like to go there here. Yes. <laughs> no, I, was, I was raised by a strong feminist figure and um, um, to an extent that she almost um, told me that men were, you know, gross and stuff like that. Yeah. So when, you, when you're trying to uh, find masculinity, whatever that means, uh, growing up, it's, it's hard to... Uh, find solid grounds and so I, I really find, found comfort in, in femininity mm -hmm. and uh, so it was hard for me to you know interact with uh, someone mm -hmm. um, without thinking about I was being I was bothering that person so yes. uh, when I saw Andre on, on paper I was like this is exactly what I went through uh, in my teenage life so I'm wow. just gonna inject all of this well, in him. Speaking of your teenage life when you grew up, your dad was a soccer player in France, so you kind of grew up all over. You were moving around. How yeah. did that build your character? Because you seem to have such strong character. I, I feel like, you know, it's always heartbreaking to leave your friends and to have to reinvent yourself, but the, the interesting part is everywhere I went, I, I could, you know, identify patterns of people and just being be able to fit in quite easily. Mm. But in that process, I didn't really know uh, who I was because I, I was just what people expected me to be. So I, I, this is how I got into acting because, you know, it's therapeutic when you, when you, when you see the different tools that, uh, that create a character, uh, you can use the same process for yourself. Mm -hmm. And so finding the characters, I would also, you know, uh, find myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Well, yes. Well, okay, so Mrs. Harris is very charming. You're also, and we sh we showed this trailer in a um, new movie with Julia Roberts. And <laughs> do you know her? <laughs> Julia Ever Roberts and George her? Clooney. I mean, that must feel like, I mean, to us, and I'm sure to you, I mean, they are the epitome of what movie stars are. So what was that like? It was, um, you know, I... I I, I arrived in, we shot in Australia, and I, I arrived in Australia with not expectations, but I was, you know, George and Julia. Uh, um, and they just, they just, they have this energy on set, they're just all about this terrification. They just want you to feel comfortable, they joke, they, they make the safe so safe for you to try things and improvise, and so they're, they're, they've, made me forget, you know, about yeah. what they represent really, really fast, and we just became friends. Congratulations on Thank this you. film and on everything. Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris from our sister company, Focus Features, hits theaters July 15th.